Faced with a sudden upturn in coal traffic, mainly as a result of the 1973 oil crisis, BR once again saw a need for a dedicated heavy freight haulier. That need was translated into the Class 56, the first of the four classes that we'll be looking at in this programme. Hard on the heels of the Class 56 came the Class 58, a design which was much cheaper to build and much easier to maintain, and which BR hoped eventually to market abroad. But, as we shall see, while the function and performance of the two types was broadly the same, the philosophy behind them was very different. The third class we'll be looking at is the privately owned Class 59. Radical in almost every respect and enjoying a reliability record which is the envy of many BR maintenance engineers, the 59s have revolutionised one particular area of rail freight operations, Mendip Stone. The last of the Type 5 freight classes, which will almost certainly turn out to be the final class of diesels to be ordered by BR, is the Class 60. With its lower maximum speed and lower gearing ratios, the Class 60 is even more of a heavy freight specialist than either the 56s or 58s, taking 3,000 tonne trains well in its stride. The Class 56 was born as an indirect result of the unprecedented rise in international oil prices during 1973. Virtually overnight, the electricity generators were forced to switch back to burning more home-produced coal rather than using expensive imported oil. 